Hey, you know what? Android can be put into a bunch of different form factors. That's really what makes it so cool. What's going on, guys? I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We see it in high-end phones, mid-range phones, QWERTY phones, touchscreen phones, and now with the Samsung Double Time, it's kind of like a quick messaging phone, but with Android. Now, this baby is, you know, packing some features. It's packing Android, Wi-Fi, I'm reading off the box here, web browsing, messaging, social networking. So it's definitely a low-end Android phone, but this may appeal to somebody who kind of wants to go from a mid-range or go from a feature phone up to a low-end, maybe low-mid-range smartphone. Is this the one to get? We'll find out in the unboxing. But first, special love to Best Buy. When you go into Best Buy, you'll walk out working. They'll help you set up your email, your web, so when you walk out that door, you're good to go. Let's take a look at this and see, should you buy this for mom or dad or grandma? We'll find out in the unboxing, which starts right now. Now look, if you love Android, you're a high-end user, this isn't going to be the device for you, but for somebody that's maybe coming from an NV3 on Verizon or another quick messaging type device on AT&T or Verizon, this is a nice medium between, you know, high-end smartphone that packs a ton of features that you're never going to use and low-end feature phone that really does nothing. This is a Samsung Double Time, and it's available now from AT&T, and like I said, this isn't going to blow anybody's mind. It's packing a 600 megahertz processor, it's packing Android 2.2, so it's still running Froyo. It's got web, as it says, web browsing messaging, social networking, Wi-Fi capable, and uh, Android. Just give you an idea of what the box looks like here. So we're going to open it up and take a look. Thank you for purchasing. You're welcome. I didn't buy it, but that's okay. Special thanks to AT&T for hooking us up with a review unit. So here's a quick start guide, which is full of a bunch of stuff nobody's ever going to read, and then your Samsung Double Time with a SIM card in it as well. And I'm going to send this thing to Sydney so we can get a full review from our teen lifestyle editor, and she can take a look and see, you know, from a teen perspective or from a quick messaging device perspective, whether this is the true device to have or not. So be on the lookout for her review and her coverage uh, in the coming days. But here you, here you go, texting and driving, it can wait. That's absolutely right. But you see it has physical buttons here, two 3.2 inch displays, one on the outside and then one on the inside with a four row QWERTY keyboard with a nice D-pad and then of course your shortcuts up here as well. So we'll see what comes in the box. Double time instructions. Again, probably nobody's gonna read that. Samsung micro SD adapter. You've got your battery and then you have your typical stuff here. AC adapter uh, module and USB cable which I said backwards, but you get the idea, down in the box. So let's see, the battery here is 1,200 milliamp hours, which should be, you know, just guessing off the top of my head, should be fine for a device like this, given how small the displays are. But of course, that's where the, uh, the real life testing will come into play. So you can see it's got a camera on the back without a flash. And then, you know, it reminds me a lot of the, uh, the NV3 and uh, reminds me a lot of the NV Touch uh, devices like that on Verizon. So let's go ahead and open it up and take a look here. Remove all these stickers. They don't even have good sticky sounds anymore. Let's see if this one does. Ooh, that was a good one. That was a good one. Samsung here, like I said, on the back with the camera. So we'll go ahead and power it on right now. Now it's a small device, and uh, you know, again, it feels like a kind of like a messaging device in the hand. But just again to give you the walkthrough specs, version 2.2 of Android does have some TouchWiz elements installed as well. So that's something to uh, to keep in mind. No stock Android, obviously. HSPA Plus or HSPA rather 7.2 here. So no 4G capabilities on the uh, the Double Time. And then down here with the camera, three megapixel camera, no flash on the back. So that's something to keep in mind uh, as well. So you've got your physical buttons, and then you've got this nice keyboard, and we'll see here once it starts up how, it how well it transitions from the different displays. Let's get all this mess out of here first. I'm going to close that up because I try to be organized when I do these videos, even though it doesn't seem like it. If you're like, he's the most scatterbrained, clustered person ever when he does these videos. I try to be organized, but it usually doesn't work. So we're going to say setup wizard next. And we're going to go ahead and quit the setup wizard because we're pretty well versed in Android, right? We're like, we're experts when it comes to Android. We don't need a setup wizard. How dare they think we need that? So you can see it's loading up right now. So here's uh, the home screen. You can see the TouchWiz elements down here with the dock, menu, internet, messaging, and phone. And then on the inside, you can see the other 3.2 inch display. Also, uh, it's a touch screen as well. So that's something to keep in mind. You can access all your typical uh, Android stuff via the touch screen in here as well. But like I said, you do have the, uh, the, the buttons here for home, search, or home, back, search, and menu. Same thing over here, menu, home, back, and search on the display. So, and, and they're in the same order as well. So you've got like kind of a pink color scheme going on here with the keyboard. Let's take a look at the keyboard and uh, see what it looks like. We're gonna load up a message here. And you can see 600 megahertz processor. This thing is not gonna win any awards in the speed department. But what we will say is the rumor dog jumped over the fence for a fresh sandwich. The rumor dog jumped over the fence for a fresh sandwich. We'll go ahead and uh, hit the period, make that all grammatically correct and all that good stuff. And then I can close back out here 
and see it on the home screen. I do have an on-screen keyboard. It's Android 2.2, so you'll notice it's the older Android keyboard. And then let's press and hold and see what we have as input method. We have swipe as well, so that's something that comes pre-installed out of the box. Now, in terms of installed applications, you get AT&T Code Scanner, AT&T Family Map, Live TV, and then you get uh, My AT&T, YP Mobile, and then all the other, and Memo as well, and a couple of other you know stock Google things that come with uh, with all platforms or come with all versions of Android. So you can see the widgets here. Let's take a look and see what comes. Dual clock, you get. News and Weather, which is an Android 2.2 thing. Actually, that debuted in 2.1, if I remember right. Time, Yahoo Finance, Program Monitor, and more. So again, not too much to be excited about here if you're a high-end Android user, but perhaps your mom has an MV3 or your grandmother has an MV3. Actually, my grandmother does have an MV3, and this might be a decent upgrade for her if she was considering AT&T. You know, something that has a smartphone OS and kind of a smartphone look and feel, but still retains that exterior body like a messaging device. This could be the perfect device for somebody like her. Volume rocker over here on the left side, hinge on the right side, micro USB charging port, and 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the top with a power button. Much more coverage to come on PhoneDog.com with a Samsung Double Time. Keep it locked on our Facebook page, Facebook.com slash PhoneDog. We're always doing giveaways. We're always on there. We love talking to you guys, so check it out. Be sure to follow me on Twitter as well, PhoneDog underscore Aaron, and on Facebook at facebook.com slash phone doc ab. Hey, stay tuned. I'm going to send this to Sydney since she's my messaging maven and she knows what she's doing with these messaging devices. Going to send it over to her, get her take on it. So be on the lookout for all that coverage on phone doc.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.